Thank you, Frame 11. John Higgins to break. O'Sullivan won that trophy for the first two years the event was held. Neil Robertson won it last year, but made an early exit in defence of his title. That's a very good safety shot, getting the cue ball back over on the right side of the table where the safety shot is not so easy in return. Tight on the cushion behind the green was uh, the place that Higgins intended to leave the cue ball. Good attempt and safe enough. I don't know if this is on this possible three ball plant. The um, the way that they are, he's only got to hit the first red about half ball to bring the other red onto the third one. But it's very tough. A lot of working out to be done. Well, it's a stunning shot. It really was good. Sometimes plants are unmissable. That was far from that. One. I know the cue ball's coming back up the table, but as you can see, they're not in line. Yellow ball. Made sure he got the cue ball somewhere near the ball cushion in case he didn't manage to make the plant. But Foul. that's the John ultimate Higgins sin. One. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. His attempted roll up Three behind ball. the yellow has finished short. I'm not sure John was watching. His good friend Alan Angles earlier on telling you how to play that shot. I have to say that when the reds are spread like this across the table, it puts pressure on somebody to get right in behind it. Brown, thank you. Brown ball. There isn't a player on this tour or hardly anybody who's ever played this game that has not done that. I think that was a kick. O'Sullivan having nominated Brown as his free ball, in, e in effect an extra red. So Higgins' mistake at his last visit to the table didn't prove costly at all. That 
was very well held. It was quite an angle on that Six. blue that he played. Seven. Well, good job the brown was there, but of course he realised that. At first glance, it looked like a, another red. There are one or two players actually on the tour who struggled to pick the two of them out. I know that Peter Ebden has uh, problems with that, with the Eleven. brown getting mixed up with the red. I've seen him play a foul in the wrong ball. Twelve. Pretty 19. apparent that John Higgins has settled better than Ronnie O'Sullivan so far in this evening session. Twenty. Just a struggle to get back into position. Twenty three. This one's not easy at all, not for the blue, perhaps. Oh, decided to go even further down the table, I think, showing his lack of confidence with the shot. It was not a certainty. So on to a bolt colour. But he's still one key shot away from making this frame and this chance of winning one. Still not perfect. Pulling the red that he will, he 26. certainly cannons the black. He's got to try and get that into a good position from the shot that comes next. There is another red he could play, but that hits the red above it. And this is a crucial shot. 27. I'm not so sure that he knew much about that, but he played it in a safe enough way that would have given him an option had he not been on the black. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Again. Some extra thought having to go into this. Never right in behind the next ball perfectly in this break. But the break continues. And that is good a good shot. 
I don't think he could have played that any better. Straight Fort. on the red, he can get onto the pink. Well, certainly straight enough, with the looks of things. Forty-one. As well as being a great player, John Higgins has always been very good at soaking up pressure. And last night, well, certainly yesterday against Ding Junhui, he had to do that. Ding made four centuries in that best of 11 frame match, and John still beat him. Thank you. 47. Forty-eight. Not perfectly 54. played. The cannon was meant to be a lot thicker than that on the pink. And the black will put Higgins 56. 60 in front with only 59 on the table. So there isn't quite the pressure on this red. There would be if it was frame ball. Just the same. John Higgins. He'd like to have potted it because it is only one snooker needed. Yes, and the table setup suggests that Ronnie is far from out of this frame. All the colours on or near their spots. He'd probably prefer to get down to one red remaining before he tried to get the snooker. It's usually the way. Obviously more difficult One. to hit the single red than a choice of four. <sighs> Didn't mean to hit that red full. Eight. Now he can't put a red here, he's got to walk away from this. Ronnie O'Sullivan, eight. <laughs> May have left the red on in the middle, I'm not sure whether John particularly fancies it. It's very thin. Didn't play that, played safe. Always bad frames to lose when your opponent requires a snooker and gets them. It feels like you've uh, there's a turnaround of a couple of frames. They hurt, those sort of. John needs to be careful. One. Such a good shot. I mean, to hear that pace from the on the cushion, great queuing. Eight. Nine.
pop the pink and then a snooker behind the blue. Well, Ronnie O'Sullivan, nine. He's discussed frame the frame conceded. Frame. John Higgins. John Higgins regains the lead at 6 5.